I just think the place is really special. And the restaurant's been a, a unique gathering place for people and, and part of Los Angeles. What makes Felipe special to our customers is number one, sandwich quality. That's what they come for first and foremost. It really is a good sandwich, <laughs> like it's a new thing. It's such a simple sandwich, but it's such a winner. It's what people come back for and have for years. It's the, the best sandwich ever. <laughs> Philippe's the original, the birthplace of the French dip sandwich. Remarkably, the look, the smells, and character of this 100-year-old Los Angeles treasure remains the same. It's the same way that they remember it. It's nostalgic, very family-oriented, and that's that's really our bread and butter, the families and the generations of, of clients that we've had to keep coming back. They brought their kids, and their kids bring their kids, and it's just a, it's a great cycle. The original founder, Philippe Matou, immigrated from Paris, France in 1901 to Buffalo, New York before going to Los Angeles in 1903. Shortly after arriving, he and his brother purchased a French delicatessen for $150 where they sold French rolls, fresh meats, relishes, and pickles out of open barrels. Philippe, or Frenchie, as the locals called him, would soon open his own restaurant in 1908. His popularity grew, but the road was challenging, and Matu is forced to move several times from his original location. In 1918, he moves to 246 Aliso Street, where he decides to change the name to what we know today as Philippe's. In 1927, he moved to 346 Aliso Street, where the restaurant would thrive for the next 26 years. But it was at 246 Aliso Street in 1918 where Philippe would accidentally change history forever. I'm 67 and the story passed down to me was Felipe had a delicatessen at the time. Uh, a policeman came in. Sliced the bread in half and accidentally dropped the roll into some of the pan drippings from the roasted beef. The policeman said he'd take it like that, took it back to the precinct. He ate it, I think shared some with some of his uh, partners there, and they all enjoyed it, and they came back for more. They kind of lost the origin if it was Officer French, if it was because they used to call Philippe Frenchy, or because it was on a French roll, and that's kind of how the sandwich evolved, and then it just caught on day after day, and more people started showing up. We had our 100-year anniversary. We invited Felipe's grandson, and he relived the story to me that it was actually a fireman that that happened to, not a policeman. So again, there's a, a bit of a difference in the story there, but it, it seemed to, to hold over the, the storyline of, of being a valid event. It's just been, it's just taken off from there. It's been, uh, you know, one of those happy accidents. By 1927, the hardworking restaurateur and his wife Josephine are ready for retirement. They sell the restaurant to Harry and David Martin. The restaurant was a gold mine, but the Martin brothers soon faced lean years. The Great Depression hit America hard and Philippe's was no exception. Living above the restaurant and working endlessly to make ends meet, they survive. The years take their toll on Harry and David, and they call on younger brother Frank to take over in 1940. My grandfather, Frank Martin, was truly a hard worker. I mean, here's a man that worked until he was 85 years old. He passed away at 86. And he worked seven days a week. And finally, when he got to be about 83, 84, he took one day off on a Wednesdays, I remember. And that's just, just the way they worked, you know. That's the way it was. The restaurant was his life. Frank Martin takes over Philippe's full time and is joined by son-in-law, William Bender. Frank, already a successful restaurateur, grooms William to eventually become the primary caretaker of the business. A few years later, Philippe's is faced with perhaps its greatest challenge. In 1948, the LA Freeway Project is set to run directly through Philippe's. William begins the long, grueling process of relocating the family business once again. In 1951, Philippe's reopens its doors at its current location, 1001 Alameda Street. A new generation enters the family business. In 1967, John Bender. In 1976, Richard Bender would join the restaurant as third generation owners, working alongside their father until the early 80s. Now the fourth generation of family partners continues the success of Philippe's. Today, Philippe's is popular as ever. 
drawing locals, tourists, and of course, Hollywood. The French Dip Sandwich has starred in numerous television shows, news broadcasts, as well as films and documentaries. Wooden stools, sawdust floors, hand-painted menu boards, and a candy counter circa 1927 create an atmosphere of nostalgia. Folks come for the old-time feel and 45-cent coffee as much as for its famous French dip. The great thing about it is that it's just a simple sandwich. Seven-inch French roll, quarter pound of choice roasted beef, and then the au jus. The flavor you don't get anywhere else. I've never tasted a sandwich like ours anywhere. Recipes were uh, Philippe's, who were given verbally to the Martin brothers, which was verbally given to my grandfather. It's really, really what makes the sandwich special. On average, Philippe's roasts 1,200 pounds of meat a day, sells 2,200 French dips a day, 3,800 on the weekends. That's 19,000 sandwiches a week, 76,000 sandwiches a month, 912,000 a year, and if our calculations are correct, over 90 million sandwiches since it first opened its doors 100 years ago. Almost enough sandwiches to wrap around the world 12 times. Well, maybe not, but still, incredible volume for any restaurant. But, Philippe's would not be Philippe's without the familiar faces you see every day. The employees have made this place what it is. Fabulous staff have been here. A lot of the uh, carvers have been with us 20, 30, uh, 35 years. Elias Barajas, um, um, I'm 44 years, Elias is 45, so he, he you know, he's one up on me there. He started as a bus boy and now manages 76 people. We have second and third generation employees, not just in our family, but in their families as well. Counter waitresses, uh, uh, Juanita Gonzalez, her husband Manuel both work here, 35 year employees. 10 years, you're still considered new. Down there on the floor right now, there are anywhere from probably eight to 22 years uh, employees working now. Without, you know, all their dedication, to the, to the restaurant, and to the restaurant business, and to their jobs, it, we wouldn't be standing here still. Very, very important to us, and uh, we, we owe a lot to them. Not surprisingly, Philippe's gives back on a regular basis to local groups, charities, and surrounding organizations who have supported them for many years. Education, police and fire departments, cancer and AIDS foundations, and national organizations such as American Red Cross, Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, and the Alzheimer Association, just to name a few. Philippe's The Original, a magical piece of Los Angeles history. The oldest known restaurant in California offers us the same taste, from the same recipes. It has served its customers for over 100 years. This cherished family eatery combines a piece of American history with old world cuisine each time it opens its doors. It all comes down to hard work. The restaurant business isn't easy. You're up early hours. We operate 16 hours a day, seven days a week. Not much has changed here. Um, in fact, very, very little. The cooking methods absolutely have not changed. People have certain expectations. It's, and I think a lot of the customers, they take pride in the restaurant. They feel like it's it's their, it's their restaurant as well. It's not fancy, it's very plain, but it does have good, wholesome food that's made fresh every day, and, and the folks respond and continue to come back as they have for over 100 years. 